March 7th, 1965, Bloody Sunday. 600 marchers assembled in Selma on Sunday, March 7th, and led by John Lewis and other SNCC and SCLC activists, crossed the Edmund Pettus Bridge over the Alabama River en route to Montgomery. To short the bridge, they found their way blocked by Alabama state troopers and local police who ordered them to turn around. When the protesters refused, the officers shot tear gas and waited in the crowd, painting the non-violent protesters with bully clubs and ultimately hospitalizing over 50 people. This was Bloody Sunday. This was the day that went down in history that signifies the fight that our people had. Where has it gone? Where is our relentlessness? Where is our expectation? We must get back to the dream. Thank you. 
1963 is not an end but a beginning. And to those who thought that the Negro just needed to blow off steam and would not become content, will have a rude awakening if the nation returns to business as usual. There are those who are asking the devotees of civil rights, when will you be satisfied? <laughs> we could never be satisfied as long as the Negro is the victim of the unspeakable horrors of police brutality. No, no, we are not satisfied and we cannot be satisfied until justice is broken down.
because I know that I did it. But all that it takes is us planting a seed. If we just plant a seed in this Georgia red clay that carries such a heavy history, it will bear fruit one day, but it will bear fruit. Look around, my family. Any one of you could have been Mike Brown. Any one of you could have been Eric Garner. Any one of you could have been Trayvon Martin and countless other people. But it's only by the grace of God that you're still here, so be grateful and remember that. Remember that those are only the stories that made it to the news. So many people have been bruised, murdered, beaten, incarcerated, and even burned alive. We as believers carry so much power that if we get on one accord, we can change not just this nation, but we can change the world. I have a dream today. I had a dream today. Now I am awake, and I live up a dream that one day, every valley shall be exalted. Every hill and mountain shall be made low. The rough places will be made plain, and the crooked places will be made straight. And the glory of the Lord shall be revealed, and our flesh shall see it together. Can't prove it to the rocket top every round. 